Welcome to our new tutorial, CSV file to database. Based on the example OPC to CSV, where we created CSV files under process values machine one CSV, we now want to read out this created CSV file and write the result to a database. Therefore, we first connect to the database systems under storage relational databases MS SQL. And I have prepared a training database target called TrainingDB by SQL Express instance with Windows authentication. I used uh, the Windows user also with my runtime service in background. If you want, you could also use username and password instead for a SQL user. And then can you drop down the databases available and select TrainingDB in my example. You don't need to check connection in addition because if you can drop down the databases, then you have connection to your database system. And I can click on cancel. You can uh, click on OK if you want to save your changes. And I change to the connections tab and under the prepared CSV folder, I create a new connection called CSV to DB. Then you get the template, therefore, and the source for the data is, of course, our CSV file. So we have a corresponding file trigger that we drag and drop directly on our template. Double click to edit, select the path or enter it manually. See test CSV demo was the folder I have shown you before. I don't want to include subdirectories and the file name pattern could be like this or like start.csv or in my case process values underscore machine one only to get the machine one process values, read text and uh, want to move folder files to the success folder. If it was successfully and prepend the UTC timestamp to the file name. And the error designation should be backslash error to the folder and also prepend UTC timestamp to that file name. Okay. There we get the file content directly, so we don't need an extra transfer object for that, just to convert the CSV document. So I create a new CSV transfer object. You also could copy it from the old connection. Double click with a delimiter and read all data with no header inside, with sp white space trimming, with a dot as decimal and date format. And the columns would be temperature, pressure, and the timestamp. Okay, so we can take the file content by left click on file content element, drag to the document and leave the button then. Now we have the temperature, pressure and timestamp as variables and can transfer it to the database object. You find it on the right again. Just insert it here, perhaps not too far and double click to edit. You just select the training DB target that we have prepared. The type is insert to insert new values. There are more commands available. And we'll select the process values table. There we have, of course, the value, the timestamp and a config ID to identify the measurement that we save there. So we have the temperature in this example as value, the timestamp as UTC timestamp and the config ID can be a constant value. So we have the constant element on the right, constant values. Just insert the value 1001 for machine one temperature process value and write it to the config ID. After that, I want to copy it by right click copy or Ctrl Z, right click paste or Ctrl V and insert the pressure, 
to the value columns of the second object, the timestamp for the UTC timestamp, and the config ID should be the new value 1002. And save the value to the config ID. Now we are ready. We trigger. We have the content for the document. We have the temperature and the pressure value and the timestamp. Transfer it to the corresponding table and the constant values for the measurement IDs. So we now can set it productive. See all the green objects, everything is OK under the setting productive tab and set it productive again. Now we can go to the state part, wait for the connection to come productive. And you have on the top the timeline. On the epsilon axis you see how long the data transfer takes. And a green dot for each successful transfer, red dots for not successful transfers. For example, if the file is already hold by another tool or another connection of OPC router. And we see the values we get, for example, two or three lines. And we have an error of two or three elements each time. If we want to check this, we can change to the SQL Management Studio, for example, and select the process values. And if we order it by the ID, descending, for example, or the UTC timestamp execute, we see the corresponding time and value. 